let's start off with what sort of you took away from the first day of practices, what you saw you guys were really on top of, what you guys would continue to improve on before the season starts, and kind of talk to me about your two um, charges that you got pretty early in practice tonight. Um, first of all, to your first question, I would just say the intensity that we bring every day. You know, we, we've had a lot of last year and what BYU basketball is about, um, just getting better every day and working together, um, working on our weaknesses and continuing to improve is what I would take away from this first day and really the entire summer and preseason that we've been working. Um, it's just a great group of guys, you know, a lot of new faces, but I've been loving it so far. And uh, I mean, one of the things with, with my charges, beginning of practice, I'm always trying to, you know, step into a leadership role this year, uh, just trying to, to make my team better. Uh, just trying to, to make plays on the defensive end because, you know, that's what Coach Pope stresses, I'll always making a play on the defensive end that translates to offense. So any way that I can, can contribute to that, um, I just want to go out there and, and give it my all for these guys because that's, that's what each, each one of them do. So uh, I thought that was, that was pretty big time and, and it sets the tone. And, uh, you know, it carries on. Like this is, this is such a great group of guys and all of them have been playing so hard, you know. It doesn't just start – with me, like it starts with anyone making that play. So we have a really special group of guys. You kind of mentioned leadership there. Last year, as a junior, you were one of the new kids on the block. But this year, as a senior, you're the only senior that's a returner. So what type of pressure does that put on you to be able to be a leadership role for the team? Um, I try not to think of it as pressure. I try to think of it more as accountability. Um, just doing whatever I can to, to make this team great. and. Uh, to, to give it my all, like I said, um, you know, you know, making plays on the defensive end and then leading the team on the offensive end, leading these young guys and, and new guys that have, that have come to the team, even the guys coming back, you know, they've been extremely helpful with me, um, carrying this leadership role, just, just leading guys through each drill that we do. Coaching the game, like the coaches see it, you know, the, the way that they teach us in film sessions and when they're out there on the court in practice, just the way that they see the game, you know, it, it's really special and, and it, you know, it showed a lot last year. We're hoping to show it a lot more this year in, in, in the way that we play. AB, uh, how much more comfortable maybe do you feel this year in the program? Because we heard last year a lot from, from Coach Pope that, you know, you weren't even getting plays drawn up for you within the offense. How much more comfortable are you in this system now? I, I feel extremely comfortable. You know, um, last year we had a lot of playmakers on the team, a lot of great, great players. Uh, a lot of them have left. We still have a lot of great, uh, great players on this team, but I definitely feel really comfortable. You know, I've put, I've put in the work that I needed. I haven't put in all the work, you know. Uh, I still got more work to put in. You can never be complacent, but um, I'm just trying to walk into this gym every, every day and, and give it everything that I have. You know, it's my, it's my last season um, in college, and, and I just want to go out with a bang. You know, I want, I want to continue this BYU um, – way that we approach the game and the mentality that we bring. And I think that, that sums it all up in one word is winning. Um, so just continuing to win with this program and this team and this coaching staff um, for Cougar Nation, I, I think that um, that's our main goal. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited. I feel very comfortable in the position that I'm in. And I'm just looking to, to go forward and, and win as many games as we can. You guys have had a lot of well, some opportunities leading up to start a practice to – be together in the annex and, and get some workouts in and training. Uh, what's been maybe some of the standouts or, or some of the, the takeaways from some of these new faces? Because there's a lot of them on this year's roster. Who have some, been some of the guys that are kind of having a, a quick transition to D1? I mean, I, I could go down the whole roster, honestly. Everyone brings something different to the table. We have a, a lot of, obviously, a lot of young guys, a lot of new guys. Um, we're very strong. You know, we're very athletic. We're quick. Like I said uh, in the beginning of this, uh, we bring that intensity. I, th I think that's one of our main um, pros right now is just the intensity that we bring, the toughness that we bring. You know, not every day is going to be perfect, but if we have a bad drill, it's how we respond to it. You know, we had we had one bad day um, this preseason, I think, that I could think of off the top of my head. And the way that we, we, resp we responded the next day, um, it just spoke a lot to, to what we're about. And uh, I, I was extremely happy about that. You know, I could go down the list. Trevin stepping up into a big role, great big time shooter. Um, BA and, and Matt, you know, coming in as grad transfers. Um, Going to play huge roles on our team. They're great guys. Um, they work really hard. And uh, I'm just really excited, you know. I could, I could go down the whole list. Like I said, Caleb, Hunter, Spence, um, 
Colby, Rich. You know, there's a lot of guys that, that Cougar Nation hasn't seen, and, and I'm very excited for Cougar Nation to see. Who else has questions? Sean, Jeff, did you ask your question? Sorry, I've been in and out. Oh, Alex, um, I was just wondering about, uh, it's been obviously a, a long time since the NCAA tournament was canceled and dealing with the disappointment of that. How much have you looked forward to this day, just being able to get back on the practice floor? What was it like today for these two sessions, being on the Merit Center? Uh, it's, I, I could just say, I have a feeling of, of being blessed, you know, to be, be in this program and to, to play for such a great coaching staff and have this group around me. Um, obviously last year didn't end up how anybody wanted it to. And that left a sour taste in our mouth, but we, we can't hold on to that. You know, we got to move on and, and we have this upcoming year and the games ahead of us and we're just doing everything we can to prepare for those games. So, you know, putting on this practice Jersey for the first day, 5.30 a.m., going into practice at 6 a.m., it's, it's a very exciting feeling. Um, especially, I mean, we, we just want to be the hardest workers in the country. That's how we believe that we're going to get to the goal that we want. Um, so d doing these two days, just coming together as a group and uh, just battling, competing every day, getting better. Go ahead, Sean, last question. Yeah, Alex, I, I'm actually really glad that you, you brought up B.A. and kind of the way that he's playing and the way that he's sort of fitting in with you guys. Um, in his first year, five miles up the road from, from where he's played. I've seen him play. I've seen you play. Can you give me a little bit of just kind of a, a, a tease or a taste of, of how you two play together? Because you're, you're two very similar guards, in my opinion. And then, so can you just kind of taste that out? Like, how, how are you guys kind of going to play together? I would say uh, that – I would say great, you know, fast pace. We, we love to push the ball in transition, but really, I mean, what we're thinking with all the film that we've watched in this um, offseason and preseason with this coach is just try to make the best play possible for our team, try to make the smartest play, um, whether that be, you know, get, getting a, a quick pass and transition to the big, quick seal, or keeping our dribble alive, you know, just, just trying to be as, as smart as we can as, as the guards of this team.